All right, fellas. We're going to do box number two. Uh, this one wasn't really damaged. Uh, I actually just got ahead when I pressed the button, I thought, and it wasn't recording, so I stopped immediately and pressed the button again. Long story short, we are on box two of four for the, um, what do you call it? The Mistville. Part the Mistville flesh and blood set. So, um, yeah, first box, I think we, I mean, just regular. I don't really think it was anything major. Uh, really, maybe like one really good card, which was Levels of Enlightenment. Aside from that, I, I haven't gone through like all of the, all of the, uh, what do you call it? All of the uh, rares and stuff. But yeah, that's that's what we got. That's what we've been doing for Part the Misfit. Let me move you guys a little bit over here. Do you guys see that? Is that a good lighting? I'll do that right there. Here, let me see if I can fix this real quick. All right, let's go. So first pack out of the box, we're going to see what we can get. Let's kind of hope that uh, we can uh, get something good, man. I've been seeing a lot of really cool marvels and, like, all that sort of stuff on TCG Player. And, of course, like, they just look sick, man. They look sick. Obviously, I think one of the most expensive cards is, like, what, like 200 and some dollars? Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a, oh, hey, we got a rare foil. That's cool. We'll take a rare foil. And we got regular rare and another rare. Cool. I'm of the moon. And everything else is basically commons. But yeah, man. Uh, so far, I'm really digging like the, the Japanese-inspired artwork. I think it's very, very... How do I say this? Very... I guess better than I expected, I guess, is the term. Because, I mean, just like, even this one. Like, look at that slither. Like, it just looks really nice, man. They got really... That, like old school not old school like um what's the word classical artwork we got here a common foil and put that there and we got two rares as usual nothing major um it's kind of weird man i didn't again i so for those of you that are watching the second video before we watch the first one okay and here let me see if i can just whoa whoa maybe there that's better um this is my first or i guess this is my second box now um, since, I think, Tales of Aria. I haven't opened up any any boxes or anything like that. So I'm kind of still working through the new rarities. I, I don't understand the new rarities too much. Tiger from Incantation. That's a common foil. And we got rare and rare. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think what still shocks me is the fact that from the looks of it, you get one cold foil per box. Is that about right? Uh, because I got a cold foil, but it was and it was a majestic cold foil too, no less. But I can't believe how little cold foil cards are worth now. At least for some, I mean, not all of them, but like the the majestic that I pulled yesterday was a two dollar and like fifty cent card, and that's that really throws me off. Common foil, first tenant of chi wind. Put that there. Rare card, rare card. I don't know what any of these rares are worth. I'm basically just going to pile them all up and go through them at a different time. Right now, I'm just trying to hunt for some of those marvels, man. I don't expect to get, I guess, what's the rarity called? Is it, there, I don't expect a legendary, maybe legendary. There's marvel, legendary, and then, uh, golly, a rarity tier. Like, I'm, There's one rarity tier that's basically the, you know, the Heart of Findle, Fendel. Uh, Eye of Ophelia or whatever it was. I forget what that tier is called. Right, we got a common foil there. Spectral Manifestations. Hey, first Majestic of the box. Restless, Restless Coalescence. Yeah, I don't know what that's worth, but hey, whatever. I think that's a, at least a Majestic, right? So rare card there. I really need to make some space over there. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to, uh, what to think about, uh, it, what is it like uh it's not is it le it's not legendary right legendary was like it was like the legendary equipment and helmet and all that stuff and i can't remember what that rarity is here but whatever we're, we're basically hunting for one of those very hard to pull cards um which i don't know what is it? is this is this because it comes with two what is this why did it come in backwards Do you guys see that oh okay Okay, Sacred Art, Immortal, Lunar Shrine, and Inner Chi. 
Uh, cool. I don't know. It's a majestic two for one, I guess. Then we got the foil common. Give me one second there. Sorry, guys. Regular token. Why are these backwards? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Let's just flip this around. Rare. Oh, I guess I used up one of my rare slots. Cool. All right, so two Majestics. I don't know what this card's worth. I really don't. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this going. Beckoning Blade. Okay. Common foil from the looks of it. Rare and rare. Cool. So let's get that done there. Let's continue on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hit rate, what the hit rates are anymore. I think it used to be what like uh, one out of sixty-four boxes was like the top of the top card that you can pull. Like golly, one of sixty-four. That's what one of eight cases. No, it's four boxes per case. It's eight. Golly, I can't math. 16 cases. So it's one out of 16 cases. Let's see here. We got a rare hollow, big blue sky. Cool. And we got another rare and another rare. Okay, all right. Let's keep it going. I'm going to try to speed through all these as much as I can, guys. I'm just, again, very new, like, very new to this new rarity thing because I've really stopped after Tales of Aria. Let me see here. Sorry. Wait one second there. Okay, so I guess these are the tokens. Rare common. Uh, there you are. Okay. So we got a rare and another rare. Let's keep it going. Man, pretty, uh, yeah, sorry for the pretty boring opening. It's just I'm kind of admiring all this new stuff, man. I don't understand it. I feel like, you know, I started with this game. I really enjoyed playing it, and then I just kind of fell off of it. So I feel like, you know, it's been it's been a while since I've opened up any product. It's been a couple years. So just getting acclimated to the new, I guess, rarities and all that is tripping me up a little bit. Because Majestics used to be... Like, you pull a Majestic, some of those Majestics could be worth, you know, $10, $15, $20. And then if it, had, if it was a Rainbow Full of Majestic, man, I, I remember I bought, like, the uh, what was it? I bought a Majestic uh, equipment for Viserai, and I remember that one was, like, I don't know, like $200 or something like that. And now a Majestic Cold Full is, like, $2. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I got to figure out what the new, like, oh, Rare. That's what it was, Rare. Cool. Got to figure out what the new, uh, how the new rarities work, really. Two rares, there we go. Cool. And I really don't even know what some of the rares are even worth. I'm assuming some of them could be worth more than like a quarter, which I guess is good for a rare. Um, but maybe there's some that are worth a dollar or more. Who knows? Some of them might be playable or something. Okay, that's a token. That's another token. Tooth and Claw, Majestic Foil. Hey, all right, we'll take a Majestic Foil. Tooth and Claw, that's nice. Rare and rare. White, blue, yonder. Yeah, like, look at that artwork, man. Like, that looks really nice. Man, is it focusing? Yes, there it goes. Yeah, it looks, that looks really, really nice. So, let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. I don't know. I think the biggest pool is, is it new or one of the... New is one of the big pools like the extended art or whatever. And then there's another one, um, Enigma maybe? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not Enigma from this set. All I know is that I saw the TCG player listing and I was like, holy crap, that looks nice. So we don't even know, or I don't even know what it is. Hey, we've got another Majestic. Visit Goldmain Estate, which I already pulled yesterday. So uh, yeah, common foil and rare. You know, wondering if that's that slot that uh, I was hearing about after I think what was it? There was like a a Christmas set that came out maybe a year ago that they had changed some of these slots for what type of cards you can get. I'm assuming that's why it's tripping me up because they changed that, 
and so now you can get like majestics and foils and all that back there like here's look at that majestic zen tamer of purpose sorry there we go zen tamer of purpose majestic mystic ninja hero that's another majestic i mean so far we're doing pretty good with majestics right common foil i don't know what those majestics are worth but hey hell yeah Let's get it. Man, we're like halfway through the box, I think. Hold on, guys. Let me get this going here. We're halfway through this beautiful journey. Common Foil, Harmony of the Hunt. Rare slot. Rare slot. Cool, cool. Yeah, we're about halfway. We're maybe a little under halfway. But uh, I wonder if we're going to get a nice cold foil in this box. God, please make it like, make it something really, really amazing. That would be great. Boom, boom. And so, again, yeah, these boxes are only like $80, $90. So, what is that? Common foil untamed. Cool. Rare and rare. Cool, cool. And... What is this spectral shield you know i saw that and i don't understand this so maybe you guys can enlighten me so spectral shield shows on tcg player that there's like a green one and that there's a silver one and they're tokens but somehow i, I don't know I, I don't know if they're part of this set or there you get them elsewhere but here's another zen state token but uh, i was kind of confused on that okay uh foil common waxing specter Hey, another Majestic. What is this? Prismatic Ley Line. Cool. And a rare. Essence of Ancestry Body. Cool. All righty. Yeah, uh, Spectral Shield. Maybe uh, maybe it's like an LGS promo or something, but I've seen those sell for like $2, $3 on TCG Player. But then, you know, I'm pulling them left and right, but it turns out they're, they're a completely different card. One is like... 158-A, one is 158-B, and I don't know what that means. Hey, we got a cracked bobble. Are these still selling for a minute? I don't even know what they're going for. But I'm, I think I've only pulled a couple, maybe. Okay, we got another token, Spectral. Common Foil, Rising Tide. Majestic, hey, another one. A tune with Cosmic Vibrations. Wow. You know, I feel like we've already pulled a lot more Majestics this box. Uh, than we have on the other one, but maybe I'm wrong. And oh, there's another rare right there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that is. But hey, I'll take a hey, majestic or majestic. I just don't know what the majestics are worth. I wonder if we're gonna be able to recoup the money from this case or not, or if we'll get close to it. As long as we get close to it, guys, I'm happy. I am absolutely happy. What is this? foil rare bonds of attraction? Blessing of Key or Kai or Key, probably Key. And Art of Desire Body. Yes, you can see my mess is starting to creep up over here. Cool, cool. Token, token. Art of Desire Body. Rare Hollow. Rare. Heirloom of Tiger Hide and Rare Bonds of Attraction. Cool. Yeah, we're almost done. I think there's only like four or five packs left in the box, y'all. So far, not a single cold foil. Let me see here. Boom. Hopefully, they have a cold foil in here in the remaining packs. That would be nice. Okay, common foil, fact finding mission. Rare and rare. There we go. I think we're down to three packs. At least for box two. I really don't know what these are worth. So right now I'll try to look some of these up for the Majestics. And see if maybe we may have recouped something. Common Foil Waning Vengeance. Rare Wind Chakra and Emissary of Tides. Well, we're down to two packs. I don't know. Maybe a cold foil per box isn't guaranteed anymore. I thought it used to be something like that, like one cold foil per box. Crack 
cracked bobble. Okay, common foil hiss. Rare second wind or second tenet of cheat wind. Blessing of the key. Yeah, no, none. All right, last pack. Maybe we'll get something here. Maybe we'll get something here or not. I really don't think we're going to get something major, but hey, last pack. Oh, we got a majestic. <laughs> There's a cold foil. Evo Recall. Mechano yeah, the other one was also mechanologist uh, equipment. Wait, I'm, I'm assuming this is another like $2 card, so I'm just going to put that down down there. So he pulled the, the cold foil, last one of the box. What is this? Uh, oh, that's common foil. Oop, common foil. Rare and rare. All right, guys, I think that's all. So we pulled Cold Foil Majestic Evo Recall, a tune with Cosmic Vibrations, Prismatic Leyline, Zen Tamer of Purpose, Visit Goldman Estate, Tooth and Claw, Foil Majestic, uh, Energy, and what is this one right here? Sacred Art and Immortal, Immortal Lunar Shrine, and Restless Coalescence. Let me find out how much these are worth. Hold on, hold tight. Yeah, I think we really, really got pounded on this one, y'all. So Evil Recall, this one's a $4 cold foil. So $4 for this one, okay? Uh, a tune with Cosmic Vibrations was like 20 cents. Yep, 20 cents, right? Okay. Then we got Prismatic Leyline. Uh, Prismatic Leyline, I don't even know if this comes up on here. This might just be, uh, here, let me see. Da -da -da. Yeah, I don't think this is a really high, high valued card. Okay, yeah, a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, dollar twenty-five. This is one penny on TCG Player. I don't know why. Maybe he's just not that great. But uh, this majestic is a penny. Okay, visit Goldman Estate. This one is a dollar. Tooth and Claw, the uh, Rainbow Foil of it. Let me see. Tooth and Claw. Uh, tooth and Claw. Tooth and Claw. So Tooth and Claw regularly is 38 cents. As a rainbow foil, a dollar, maybe a, well, I guess technically with shipping two dollars. And we got uh, Sacred Art Immortal Lunar Shrine. This one was like three dollars. And then we got Restless Coalescence. Let me see what this is. Uh, this is a two dollar majestic card. Uh, I don't think we made anywhere near our money back for this box. Like this was a real bad box. I think this was really here are all the rares again i haven't gone through all the rares maybe i'm wrong maybe at the end of it it'll all even out with these but uh yeah in terms of majestics in terms of the big pools per se absolutely not we got railed on there but uh now you guys know so this was box two this was arguably so far this is the worst box and i'm two of four right now so the first box was all right Again, the first box we had like, you know, at least some sort of good card. If this would have been the full art extended version, this would have been an $80 card. But because it's not, this is a $30 card. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for y'all for this one for Part the Misville, box number two. And uh, we're going to do box three here shortly. And hopefully everything will be uploaded in a few days, y'all. Appreciate y'all.